Imagine the shockwaves across the auto industry when a CEO steps on stage and confirms that their most secretive, most talked about engine isn't just a rumor, it's real. That is exactly what Mercedes has done. The company has finally revealed that the Yasa Flux engine exists. An engine once whispered about in hushed tones is now front and center. And this isn't just any motor. Early reports claim it's so powerful and so radically different that giants like Tesla, BYD, and Toyota could soon be losing sleep. If this engine makes its way into production cars, the entire game, petrol, diesel, and even today's electric batteries, could be flipped on its head. So, what is the Yasa Flux engine? Think about it. Whenever we talk about cars, the first thing that comes to mind is the engine. Once petrol and diesel ruled the roads, then the era of electric cars took over. But today, the name making the most headlines is the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes has revealed it, and discussions about it are spreading all over the world. But what exactly is this engine, and why is it considered so special? Let's break it down in the simplest terms possible. Yasa is a British company that originally developed this engine technology before Mercedes took it under its wing, and flux simply means magnetic flow. Now understand this. Electric motors work on the interaction of electricity and magnets. Normal electric motors, which we call permanent magnet or induction motors, are thick and bulky. They take up more space and weigh a lot more. But the magic of the Yasa flux engine is that it's very small, lightweight, and extremely powerful. Its design is called axial flux. Now what does axial flux mean? Let's put it in simple words. A normal motor rotates like a cylinder, while an axial flux motor rotates like a flat disc. In other words, instead of being a thick cylinder, this motor is like a thin round plate. The same question is being raised today about Mercedes's Yasa flux engine. From the information that has come out so far, it is clear that the flux engine will currently be installed only in luxury and high-performance cars. The biggest reason for this is its initial cost. Being a new technology, its production cost is high, and companies would like to install it first in those vehicles where the price is already high. But this doesn't mean that it will always be expensive. As mass production begins and the research cost is recovered, this engine can also reach affordable cars. Now let's talk about the challenges of manufacturing. The design of the flux engine is as unique as it is difficult to make. Companies have been manufacturing ordinary motors for decades, but the production of an axial flux motor is completely new. It requires very precise magnets and coils, and it's not easy to connect and balance these machines. Mercedes may have the technology, but if it has to be installed in hundreds of thousands of vehicles, then it will have to prepare for mass production. This is the biggest challenge. Along with this comes the stress of raw materials and supply chain. Flux engines require rare earth elements such as neodymium magnets. Their supplies are already limited to China and a few countries. If the demand for flux engines increases, the shortage of these metals may grow further. This will increase prices and put pressure on companies. To deal with this problem, Mercedes will have to find new suppliers and perhaps also pay more attention to recycling technology. Now the question arises, when and how will the Yasa Flux engine arrive in future cars? Mercedes is currently preparing to bring it in its luxury sports cars and high-performance models. Flux engines can be included in vehicles like their AMG series. Its advantage in SUVs will be that despite being a heavy vehicle, the flux engine will give more torque and more power, making the driving experience of the SUV even more fun. At the same time, the use of flux engines in sports cars will make them capable of competing with vehicles like Tesla's Model S Plaid. Flux engines can also bring a big change in trucks and commercial vehicles. Heavy vehicles need more power and torque. Flux engines deliver more power despite being lighter, which means that electric trucks and buses will hit the roads with more range and power than before. If we look at the picture, after 2030, the flux engine can become the new standard of the EV industry. Just like today, every company uses lithium-ion batteries in its cars. In the coming time, every company could move towards motor technology like flux.
It is possible that in the coming seven to eight years, this technology will become so common that even cheap electric cars will start getting flux engines. But here a big question arises, one that hangs over every major technological announcement. Is this truly the future of the EV industry? Or is it merely another ambitious corporate promise destined to be diluted by the harsh realities of production in the market? The long and storied history of the auto industry is littered with revolutionary concepts that, upon reaching the public, failed to deliver on their initial earth-shattering hype. We have seen hydrogen fuel cells perpetually remain five years away, revolutionary battery chemistries that never scaled, and game-changing engine designs that were quietly shelved after proving too complex or costly to manufacture at scale. So the true crucible for the Yasa axial flux motor, honestly, won't be the controlled environment of a research lab or the dazzling glow of a press conference stage. The real test, well, that'll begin when it's actually fitted into the vehicles of everyday customers and put through the unpredictable, often unforgiving conditions of real-world use. I mean, how will it perform after 100,000 miles of daily commutes, harsh winters, and scorching summers? How will its unique components hold up to wear and tear? And what exactly will be the cost and complexity of maintenance and repairs? And then will the supply chain for its specialized rare earth magnets prove resilient? Or, you know, will it become a bottleneck that stifles mass adoption? These are the practical, gritty questions that will ultimately determine its fate. Furthermore, the market's reception is never guaranteed. A technology's success isn't solely about its performance specs. It's about cost, accessibility, and the creation of a supportive ecosystem. If the flux engine remains confined to ultra-luxury vehicles with six-figure price tags, its impact on the broader EV revolution will be symbolic at best. The ultimate measure of its success will be its ability to trickle down to become a viable, affordable option for the mainstream consumer. The person buying a family SUV or an affordable commuter 